Hello everyone, Trigan here. Welcome back to Derail Valley. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I've actually gotten pretty decent here with the harbor. I've uh, done some shunting here and uh, I've done several jobs that, you know, either from here or bringing me back to here. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this location anyways. Know where everything is and how to get to it. That's That seems to be the trick with each one of these stations is knowing where things are. But I tell you, the big thing is, once you start getting licenses for stuff, your money starts really rolling in. You know, we got the concurrent licenses, which let me do two jobs at once. Uh, and then I got uh, the logistical hall license, which, like, these guys here are logistical jobs. Um, and that allows me to haul empty containers um, where I'm, I'm just shipping them, you know, to another town to do something, which is great because then I also, with the concurrent license, and I also got the long haul one, like this one here, which means that either I can take two jobs or I can take one job like this one that's really long. Uh, and as you can see, that one was 17 grand and I actually did one. I went to the city in the, uh, south, south, uh, well, sort of the west, southwest or south, southwest, um, the city southwest at any rate. And, uh, I got that in just under the bonus time. So I got like a $5,000 bonus on a $20,000 job. So that went really nice. So we actually have some money right now. I've paid all our fees and everything and we have seventy seven thousand dollars so let's go ahead and do this sh282 license oh you gotta own concurrent jobs too before you can do this oh man i was that was gonna be my whole episode well bugger <laughs> all right we'll take concurrent jobs too Okay, so that's one license done there. We'll throw that on the ground. That'll end up in our house. Um, I also offloaded some stuff. That makes me mad. I really want to do that today, but I didn't know I had to own concurrent jobs too. Uh, I could get train length too. We won't be able to do that right now. We really won't be able to do concurrent jobs too either. Uh, how much do we have left now? 57. We could get hazmat one. Uh, that would be worth some... Wait a minute. We have 57. We still have enough to get the train. Oh, hot dog. I can do what I had planned. Woohoo. Okay, so we... Do we have any money? We have a little bit of money left. We need to go to the store. Where is... Where's... No, this... We have not been to the store yet. Oh, I found out that apparently, according to... Hang on here. According to this here, looking at this, there are hotkeys for the throttle and brake. That actually could be pretty useful. I don't know how that works. Does it just recognize that you're standing in the train? I suppose that could be. Um, okay, let's come back here. We, we need to go to the store which should be over between E and F. So that's over here. Okay. So that, I believe this is uh, E, okay. And I think F is right over there, so it should be somewhere Right between these guys, I guess. There's this wall in the way here. That's really putting a damper on things. Oh, here it is. Here's the store. Okay. So we are going to need... Uh, we are going to pick this up. We need a shovel. And a lighter. Ooh, we can get a pocket watch. Ooh, I'm not going to spend five grand on a pocket watch right now. Uh, and here's the quick guide for that. And then can we... Do 
I just toss this down? <laughs> okay. That's our receipt. I didn't actually need to keep the receipt. Okay, cool. We can get rid of that. So 450 bucks for that. All right, super. So we've got the guide for our new train. We've got a lighter and we've got a shovel. <laughs> okay, let's head back over here. And actually, before we muck around getting a job, which is going to require that we actually, uh, uh, you know, well, I want to try to do it in, in the proper time. So let's actually do this. Let's get this guy out of the way. Now we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's just move this thing. I can move that thing out of the way later. Okay. Let's get up in here. <laughs> oh my, I think we just need have to teleport up into it. Okay, there's no steam, so we can't blow the horn. Okay, so we got to open this. Get our shovel. gonna be easier if I oh you can actually see it filling up that's great oh I think that's enough yeah because it's not filling up anymore okay uh, how do I okay and there we go did that reappear in my inventory Or did I just lose my lighter? No, my lighter's on eight now. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I probably should have read the guide on what I'm doing here. Okay, so we've got that lit. Let's go ahead and close it up. Let it build up some steam. Okay, so we got that going. Uh, make sure the regulator is released. That needs to be pulled towards us. Okay, that's released. Fire door. Well, we already did that. We put coal in there. We lit the fire. We closed the door. Add water to the boiler using the injector. That's here. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. There's the gauge showing. That looks red hot right there. should be enough let's no okay so that's full okay so we have water in the injector close the injector uh when meter is full is that close enough to full i hope so let's actually let's just be sure about that yeah now it's definitely full okay okay steam pressure okay Ooh, it is rising look at that i guess we really did need to get it all the way up to full observe steam pressure rising okay oh no we had some already because we just passed looks like we passed 10. yeah i don't know if we're gonna get a job done today <laughs> i think maybe just screw it around with the steam engine uh, roll cut off forward as far as it goes. Okay. Okay. That's top power. Okay. So if we roll it back halfway, we're at top speed. And go roll it back. So this is our reverser. That's what it is. Okay, release the brakes. So brakes look more or less like they do on the other here. 
Okay. Gently push the regulator forward. Ooh. Are we rolling? We are, ever so slowly. It doesn't really say... <laughs> Sounds more like we're just. <laughs> okay. You gotta put it forward quite a ways. Oh, and it really needs to be kept moving. Are we on? Not all the way, no. Okay. What one was it? Okay. I think... Man, this thing barely fits on here. Holy cow. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this. Uh, I'm not on there cro correctly, am I? I went just a little too far, it looks like. Okay. There we go. Cool. All right. Yeah, I hadn't used it before, but yeah, there is a lean function here where you can lean out. Why am I slowing down? Are we out of coal or something? Yep. The fire needs to be built up. Okay, that's that's good. We got that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Did not want the brakes. I want this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see, so that's what I was saying, is I figured this was going to be a real pain in the butt to do anything. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch that. The controls are not easy to muck with, I tell you. Okay, so let's take this and... I'll run it all the way around. See, because you got to go so far with it that really bites okay make sure brakes are off oh, you can step out there by accident so I've got to be careful there really we have no steam pressure to speak of. Why do we have no steam pressure? So I thought that's a look how much how little water we've got in there. Like, okay, let's can we add more water to it? Oh, I can see this is going to be a darn nuisance. So you gotta keep this topped up. You gotta keep this topped up. That seems to be full.
I don't know why it wants you to shut that off when obviously it uses it up so fast. Is that my speedometer? Yeah, it is. Let's see if we can get up to 30 before I run out of steam. Looks like 20 is going to be the best we can do. And it doesn't coast worth a damn. Wait a minute here. To coast, release the regulator. To stop, apply the independent brake. Oh, do I have the brakes engaged? Hang on. Yeah, because back should be off. Why did it have me muck with the brakes earlier if they were actually on? Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we're moving a lot better. That's better. I don't like the fire coming out the side there. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, where's the office? It's right over here, I think. We're doing water-wise. Let's add some more water to it. Come on, more water. There's the office right there. Okay, let's go ahead and see. I think that's probably the independent brake. Yeah, there we go. Apply the independent brake. We'll leave this going. And let's see, we've got Teleport. All right, so we've got this job right here. Freight haul. Should be able to handle the tonnage on it. Long one. It's going to the machine factory in town, and it's a lot of money. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it's on E70. We know where E is. I need to find... There we go. Coming in from the west would be right, right, left. Okay. And we're going to have to head back over here. Okay. All right. So let's set this back to forward. Ooh, we're getting a little bit too much steam going here. Nope. That's re released already. That one. There we go. All right, so we'll get out past this. Right, we'll go ahead and hit this. Actually, it's going to be easiest if I do this. Let's just I discovered the sort of easy is just to walk it and uh, 
see, from the west should be right, right, left. So right, right, I like this one, left, yep, that's E70 right there. Okay, cool. So we're all set. Whoops. Overdid it. All right. No, come on. Oh, God, these things are so hard to use. Hang on for a second here. Where was that thing with the cheat keys? Okay. Train brake throttle reverser H and J. There we go. Okay. That's super. H and J. So we'll take the train brake off. How are we doing on everything here? I don't know what that little warning was about, but. Boy, if we get a lot of steam. Okay. Boy, I tell you, you you missed the shunter. <laughs> Uh, that was so simple to run compared to this thing. But hopefully it won't take us too long. I mean, as, as fast as the money in, as the income accelerated, I cannot see how close we are. I still cannot see how close we are. Okay. Let's slow down. We still got a ways to go. Oh, there's uh, landscape there, not landscaping. Uh, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Nope, that's not what I want. Be almost there. Yep. Gonna hit it in just a moment. Okay. All right. Let's check this out and be sure we've got the right thing. Where are we here? E70. Whew, look at all these. Six five six to seven seven two. I'm not gonna check all of them. There's seven seven two. So that's the last one. Presumably, this has all been prepped for us, so we're good to go. Well, this would be the biggest consist, yep, the biggest consist we have done. I did discover one thing that's odd, because it's, you don't see it, um, you know, when you're playing. Okay. Uh, you know, it's probably going to help if I hook the train up. Um, but this here, you always see this valve turned off when you, you pick up a train. But I discovered it's not wise to actually leave it uh, turned off when you park a, a, a train. Because you might actually leave some air pressure in there and then the, the, the stupid train will roll. Okay, where's my brake pressure here? There's my pressure there. Oh, here's my brake pressures. Okay, I think we're good to go. Boy, this thing has so much more power. Look at this.
Come on. Our pressure is too low. Let's ease this back. So I would have thought we would have kept. Where'd our train go? What the heck? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a real challenge. All right, do I have enough pressure to get moving here? I forgot to twizzle the twizzler. That's what it was. Why is it acting like my brakes are applied? Because I've got that valve open, that's why. So I'm losing brake pressure here. There we go. That's what was wrong. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's try not to... Oh, this is a nice view. At least we didn't get very far. Whoa, oh, we're under the coal. That's not good. This is really cool, though. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a real challenge. Okay. Let's try this again. Hook that there. Twizzle the Twizzler this time. That's open. That's open. Now, we didn't imply any brakes, so we're good to go there. Um, let's move this all the way forward. I like having the uh, cheat key there. What's the cheat key for the throttle? Y and U. Okay, H and J and Y and U. That, that makes sense. Whoa, 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 I think that was a bit of wheel slippage there. Oh, and there's the injector, too. Firebox door, page up and down, horn, number pan... Oh, that's going to make things so much easier. <laughs> uh, I like doing the levers on the... Um, on the... Um, diesel, but in this one they have to move so much. That's it. Okay, what was the injector again? Insert and delete. Okay. speed wise think we can go ahead and coast for a while here okay what was firebox door page up oh gotta hold it okay
Boy, you really need a second person on this train. I have used up the entirety of our episode just getting hooked up to our train. Please tell me I didn't screw up and... Okay, no, our train is attached. Whew, I would have been really upset if our train wasn't attached after getting going finally. <laughs> and I need to figure out where I'm going. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, seeing the steam engine for the first time, seeing me fumble around trying to actually do something with it. <laughs> if you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Good for you. You know, it builds character.